Inverse kinematics allow us to calculate what a group of linked segments or lines will look like if we try to make the endpoint of the last segment go towards a specific position. It does this by rotating the last segment towards a target position and shifting it so that the endpoint is at the target position. Then, it goes backwards through all the linked segments and has each one follow the starting point of the next one in a similar fashion. Once that's done, if we want our inverse kinematic system to have a fixed starting point, we simply shift the first one starting point to the anchor. Then, we go through the rest of the segments in a forwards manner and set their starting position to be the updated endpoint of the previous segment. The way I set up my script is that first I initialize my segments by default linked going upwards. Then, during every frame, I run my inverse kinematics logic on my segment classes, and finally, I use their updated data to display it in my line render. This is a strong tool for procedural animation when combining it with logic of how and when to move your system's target positions around. This system could also benefit from additional constraints like limiting rotations between certain specific angles which I have yet to work into my solution. While in this example we worked with vectors and points, working with anchored game objects and rotations will be a bit different math-wise while following the same logic. I hope that you enjoy this video, I hope that you subscribe, I hope that you subscribe, I hope that you can have a good time regardless if you subscribe.